Alright guys, welcome. We're going to give Star Wars the card game a little go, put it through the castle run. We have the Smugglers and Spies, this is the, the light side faction that I'll be playing. And they'll be facing off against the Imperial Navy. Okay. We have everything set up. We've prepped our uh, hand and fate deck, if you want to see how to do that. You should check out the instructional video or just read the rules. We're now going to reveal our objectives for each side. Let's start with the dark side. Take them prisoner. After this objective enters play, look at the top three cards of an opponent texture deck. Capture one of those cards as this objective in return. The others to the top of the deck in any order. So they're going to start away right away with capturing somebody. Imperial Command, Death Star. No special effects, but two units of resource. And the last one, the Endor Gambit. To refresh, remove one focus token from a vehicle unit. It's going to make him able to strike and defend a lot more. All right, so let's see if we... Top three cards of the opponent deck. One, two, three. We're going to uh, capture one of these cards. Let's see. Last minute reinforcements. My Twilik Smuggler. And a Holdout Blaster. So it's going to capture. The smuggler. At this objective. So it's going to be captured at this objective. So you've been captured. Taken then prisoner. These two are at any order. They're just going to do a random order. I'll shuffle those up. Add it to our command deck. Okay, let's reveal our spies and smugglers. First one is under a couple of dealings. After an opponent refreshes, draw to your reserve value if you control fewer units than that opponent. Against all odds, each unit you control gains a blast damage while attacking an opponent who has more cards in their hand than you. And Debt of Honor. After a Wookiee unit you control is sacrificed or destroyed, shuffle it back to its owner deck from the discard pile. Then it once per turn. Alright. We've got our objectives for each uh, each affiliation. So let's uh, draw a starting hand for me. My starting reserve is six. One, two, three. Four, five, six. Okay, we're going to go through the sequence for our Navy, Imperial Navy first. Let's check the balance of the force. Um, balance of the force. Ah, balance of the force is on the light side. It's beginning of the turn. Normally you move one death, one on the Death Star, but in the solo, you, do, you skip moving on the very first turn. All right, let's take a look at our refresh phase. During the refresh phase of the uh, AI, he's going to collect resources for whatever available. So one, two, three, four, five resources. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Now let's check our draw phase. The backstabber. During an engagement, play this unit from your hand as a participating on your side. Reaction. After this unit enters play during an engagement, deal one damage to the engaged objective. Okay. 
Let's see what's next. A TIE Fighter. He can afford it. He has two left. And our last one. Twist of Fate. Not our last one. <laughs> this one could be the last one. And it is our Death Star Trooper. He has no more resources, so that's going to be the end of it. We're going to add the Twist of Fate card to the Fate deck, which will be shuffled before we use it. Now, we're going to have to add all these units into the play area. We're going to check to see blast damage. Who has the most blast damage? Well, these two each have one blast damage each. So the way to separate it is we take how many units we have, three, divided by two, round it up, which is going to be two. Um, the two with the most blast damage are going to be in the attacker's pool. All others are going to be in the defender's pool. We've placed them, so now we can remove the resources. And that is the end of our deployment phase. There is no conflict phase in the first turn, just as in the base game. So let's go to the force. The force, uh, he's gonna, he's going to, um, he is going to assign one, one unit uh, to the force. It's going to be the one with the most force icons. If they all have the same amount of force icons, uh, then it's their value. So the backstabber is going to be committed to the force. With the backstabber committed to the force, the balance of the force now here at the end of his turn uh, changes to the dark side. Okay, we're going to check the balance of the force now that we're on the smuggler side. We are on the dark side of the force, so we will not be putting any extra damage on an objective. We're now in the refresh phase. There's nothing to be refreshed at this point, so we're at the draw phase. I drew up my hand. Let's see what we have. Swindled. Return to target unit with the printed cost two or lower to its owner's hand. So it could clear the board. Protection. Place one shield on a target unit or objective. Oh, I like that fake card. And it's two. Each player draws two cards. We have the shifty lookout. When this unit is ready, each opponent is going to have one additional card in his hand. Hold out blaster. This is an enhancement. Each smuggler or spy unit, or I can enhance a, sorry, enhance a smuggler, smuggler or spy unit. Uh, while you control fewer units than your opponent, double enhance units' combat icons. Oh. And we have last minute reinforcements. When you declare defenders, search your deck for a non vehicle unit and put it into play as a participant unit on your side. Shuffle your deck. If that unit is still in play at the end of the engagement, place it on the bottom of your deck. Very nice. Doesn't I don't have a lot here. To 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 get started, um, we will uh, we're probably going to play these two: our sh shifty lookout and our swindle. Clear the board a little bit, get one of those uh, attackers off. Attackers off of us, maybe the defender. Try to because um, uh, at this point. I'm not going to be able to play any of these events or enhancements. They're not really going to help me. Maybe I draw some more cards because I don't have anything that I want. Yeah, maybe we do those three cards. So we're going to spend one focus token to swindle. We're going to swindle off uh, this, this uh, swindle off this TIE fighter. And I'm, I'm placing it um, in, in his hand. So I'm just going to be adding it back to this pile. Okay. Then I'm going to pay one to get my shifty lookout. 
out so I can at least have a dog in the fight um, and then holding all the cards each player draws two cards I'm gonna draw two cards first card I draw hidden back up this is gonna enhance my play area while you are defending well, you are the defending player and have no ready defenders. This enhancement gains action. Focus this enhancement to have the target a target ready unit you control participate on your side. Okay, so I can add I can add somebody late to the to the battle. Okay, and the other card that I drew is Dash Rendar. He's elite. When he's attacking alone, it gets he gets uh, blast damage for each card in the defending player's hand. Okay. All right, and then uh, this player is going to draw two. Add two to their hand. We've done our draw. We've done our deployment. Now we check if we want to do any conflict. So the only conflict I would have is attacking him. Just doing my shifty lookout versus the Death Star Trooper just to try to clear the board. So the question is do I want to do I want to waste any cards? I could place a shield here, he'll survive the damage and then hopefully attack him. So let's let's do it. Let's try to let's try to clear this well oh, hold on a minute now. Um I have my undercover dealings. I, if I kill him, I won't have fewer units, but will I really, really feel like I need to draw? Probably not, so it should be okay. And this one, against the odds, each unit you control gains a blast while the attacking player has more cards in their hand than you. So if I play that, I have one, two, three, four, five. He's going to have one, two, three, four, five. Six. Okay, so yeah, let's attack and try to get a blast damage on there. All right, so we're going to be attacking with him. Um, uh, he's going to be defending with his Death Star Trooper. Okay, so we're going to fight our edge battle. I'm going to play one. He, we need to shuffle this Fate deck. Okay, we shuffled it. He's going to place one of them. Oops, sorry, I didn't see it. Uh, here. So now I have to decide if I'm going to pass or if I'm going to stay. I really want to get Dash out there. I, I think I need to get Dash. I'd like to enhance Dash. So the only question is do I want to play one of these hidden backups or this last minute reinforcement? Um, I Which I can't. There's, there's no reason to win this edge battle except for attacking first. But I'm going to be able to defend. So I'm going to pass. Okay. So now he's going to decide if he adds more. He has the same uh, number of cards. So when I roll this dice, if it's a one or a two, he's going to pass. Anything else, he'll add another one. So he's going to add another one. So now he has uh, one more card. So now it's a one, two, or three. He's going to pass. Nope, he adds another one. He already has two more cards than I, so he's going to automatically pass. And since I pass, we both pass consecutively. So we're going to reveal our fate cards, our edge battle, excuse me. No. This is what we were hoping one didn't show up. The twist of fate, we're going to cancel this edge battle. So now there's a likelihood that my shifty lookout is going to die. What a waste. Ugh. Damn you. So these uh, cards get dealt, put into the respective discard piles. Um, he is going to draw up to one less than his reserve, which he's going to draw one more card, and he's going to shuffle this fate deck. Okay. Man, I'm really bummed about that twist of fate. All right, so I guess I'll... I got to go fate heavy. I got to try to beat him with the fate cards. Because uh, now my shifty lookout will die if he doesn't win the, uh, I'm sorry, fake out the, the force icons. i got to win this edge battle. Because if he doesn't win, he's not going to be able to do any damage. And we want to we wanna take him out. So he's going to play one card. I played. I passed. We have the same amount. So I'm hoping for a one or a two. All right, there's a two. All right, I feel pretty good. I've got a two showing. As long as he has just a one, I'm going to win this one. Let's see what he has. 
man, he he's got Grand Moff talking. Oh man, so that's two two really bad two really bad setups for me in this edge battle. I was set up pretty well each time to come out successful, and now I'm not. So um, sorry. So he's gonna focus the strike first. He's gonna do one damage. Um, and he's going to kill my shifty lookout, which means I don't get to attack back, which means I don't get to take advantage of my uh, uh, against all odds. So I went from being in a position to killing a, a trooper and getting um, some damage on an objective, and through two two edge battles, uh, lost both of them. It's very unlucky for the smugglers and spies so far. Okay, so we finished our conflict phase, now we're going to check our force phase. I have no units coming into the force. He has one unit coming into the force with one force token. So the force is going to stay on the dark side. Now let's check on the balance of our force. On the bar dark side, so our dial is going to change one for the start of the turn and one because it's the dark side. Okay, we've checked the force, so let's refresh. Let's remove any focus tokens that we have or shields. We're going to be adding one, two, three, four, five resource tokens. Three. There are five tokens. Let's check and see how many cards we have to draw. One, two, three, four, five. So we need to have an active reserve of six. So we're going to draw one more from our command deck. And let's go ahead and shuffle this hand. Let's see what comes out here in the deployment phase, or the draw phase. Defensive upgrade. I get to enhance it. He gets to enhance an objective. It's three damage capacity. Death from above. Here's an event. Target the two attacking vehicle units. Those units gain a uh, blast damage until the end of the engagement. And. Super laser blast, play only during your turn, destroy a target objective. He's only got three, so he's not going to be able to do that just yet. Okay. So let's take care of these two enhancements, this enhancement in this event. Um, we're going to hold on to this because this, this one counts as... Uh, at the start of an engagement, basically. So we'll use that here on this when this backstabber is going to attack here. And then our defensive upgrade. Um, well they're supposed to pick uh, the objective with the least amount of damage. Um, that's the first tiebreaker. I'm not sure on the second tiebreaker, so let's take a look at that. Okay, so if we look at number three here, it says, if two or more objectives are tied, select the objective that provides the most resources. Okay. So that's going to be our Imperial Command. So we're going to enhance this one. And it is going to be actually eight units, or eight damage to destroy it now. OK. These three are left over since the next one was, a, uh, we drew our four. So that's the end. We couldn't afford it. At the end of their phase, we're going to, before the next draw and deployment, we're going to make sure we draw back up. So now we're here onto the conflict phase. He's going to be attacking with this backstabber. Um, events are held to play until they can make an impact. Um, it will make an impact. He's going to get an extra blast damage from this one. Okay. So the backstabber is attacking. I have no. I have no defense. So there's going to be no need for an edge battle. It's going to be edge enabled. These two damage will do nothing. He's going to add one two damage to an objective they will damage the objective lowest here on the bottom oh I forgot here um, as we damage that remember 
After I re he refreshes, draw to remember reserve value if I have fewer units. I've got three, three, so I'm going to draw three more units, or three more cards, excuse me, because I have zero units. So let's take a look at our first card. My Shadow Operative, it's going to allow me to return this card to my hand, maybe to avoid death or so I can have less members out on the, the board. Chewbacca. If you control fewer units than each opponent, target two friendly units, place one shield on each targeted unit. Uh, I'm at five, so I need to draw one more. Narrow escape, interrupt. When your opponent chooses a single target for a non-capturing card effect, choose a new target for this effect. The new target is chosen as if you executed the effect. So I can uh, change who's gonna be affected. So. All right, we took care of our undercover dealings. He's now attacked. He's going to take two uh, because he's committed to the force. This event is going to be put in our discard pile. Yep. Uh, now we're on to his force phase. He's going to commit one unit to the force. And he has... Two committed to the force, two force icons, where I have zero still, which means it's going to the balance of the force is going to stay at the dark side. Okay, on our smugglers and spies turn, we check the balance of the force. Yep, we are at the dark side, so we will not get any benefit. So now let's go ahead and refresh. We're going to remove our focus tokens. Okay, draw. While I'm at six, let's see if I want to discard anything. This hidden backup, I'm not really sure how well I'm going to be able to use it. Dash, I want to get out there. I like this blaster idea. The shadow operative is not going to give me much. So maybe Chewbacca, I'd like to get him out there, obviously. And this narrow escape has got a nice amount of force icons on it. So if I was to discard one, I guess I would discard maybe this hidden backup. Let's just do it. Let's see if I can get uh, get something else. Okay, we got our Fringer Captain. This unit cannot be targeted by NRV, enemy, I'm sorry, enemy events. Okay, so we're drawn up to our six. So let's see what we can do here. I think, I think I'd like to do this guy. Dash, maybe. Chewbacca, what's Chewbacca do? What's he do again? He's gonna give some blast damage. He at least is going to do it, hurt the objective. He's not going to hurt the objective yet. So maybe I go for Chewy. And maybe I double his combat. Make him really powerful for that. Or, yeah, let's try that. That'd be, that'd be four. I have one, two, three, four units. Um, yeah, let's get those two out there. How many cards does he have? He's got one, two, three, four. Ah, so I'm not gonna be able to take my against all odds. Take advantage of that. Do I have any zeros to put out there? No. Yeah. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Okay, so we're gonna spend three. One, two, three to get Chewbacca. And then we're going to uh we're gonna put this blaster on him. Enhance a spire smuggler. Let's remind ourselves of what this uh, this uh, holdout blaster is gonna do. I get to enhance a smuggler spy character unit. I did it. Uh, when I when you control fewer units than your opponent, double enhanced unit combat icons. So he's gonna have two or four of those. Well, two two more if he wins the edge battle, and two. Uh, to uh, blast damage okay so that was my deployment I don't have any more resources resources are pretty thin here right now so let's uh, let's go to our conflict phase Chewbacca is gonna come join in our combat he's got one defender this trooper okay so we've committed our units to the battle Okay, so let's go ahead and start this edge battle. Um, I'm going to play this two on there. 
He's definitely going to play one. Oh, let's double check and make sure. Is he up to a six? One, two, three, four. He needs to draw two, five, six. We're going to shuffle those up. Okay, we've shuffled our, our edge battle deck. We're going to place one here. All right, so the question is, I'm, am I going to uh, pass or am I going to try to get another one out there? Let's... Uh, Let's do it. Let's put our shadow of, shadow operative out there. Wow, well, let's do this fringe captain just because he uh, he's going to be a little bit more cost and I'm going to have to spend all my stuff for dash next turn. So let's try it. So he's got fewer cards than me, so we're going to roll the dice. Anything but a one, he's going to add one. So he's going to add another card. I'm going to pass. We're equal, so anything but a one or a two, and he's going to add a two. So we stop right there. Let's go ahead and flip over what he's got. He's got three and I've got three, and tie goes to the defender, so that really sucks. Um, deal one damage to target participating enemy unit as well. So Chewie's going to take a damage. Um, so the question here, if you uh, control fewer units than each opponent, target up to two friendly units, place one shield on each targeted unit. I should have uh, been able to take advantage of that action, place one on here to negate that damage from the heat of the battle. Okay? So now he's going to uh, attack here once with him. I can't defend that. So now Chewbacca is going to take a damage. But Chewbacca is going to uh, double his uh, enhanced unit combat icons. And I was just checking to make sure that all of these were combat icons, not just these. Um, that's unit damage. This is blast damage, but they're still combat icons. So he is going to double. He's going to so he's going to have two damage. That's going to kill the Death Star trooper. And that's going to clear out that defense. Uh, and then he's going to be able to double this and do two blast damage. And we're going to target uh, this um, Endor Gambit. I don't like him able to remove focus tokens from vehicle units because right now he's slowed down because of being focused but that's going to go away as long as he's got this uh, Endor out there. Alright so we've uh, completed our edge focus Chewbacca to strike he's finished his edge so we're clear there Chewbacca's going to come back we're going to check uh, Oh, oh, and hold on. I'm going to get a third blast damage because I now only have two cards in my hand. Well, he has many more. So we're going to put that in other blast damage here on this uh, Endor Gambit. So we're sitting at three damage, almost close to our first one being done. Um, he's exhausted, so I'm not committing him to the Force. I think in the future rounds I'm going to try to com commit Dash and just have him attack big every now and again. Um... But we'll see how it all turns out. I might draw something that changes my plan, but that's my plan moving forward for now. So we are going to not, we're not going to win the force, um, which means it's going to stay on the dark side. All right, let's check the balance of the force on the Imperial Navy's turn. We are here at the dark side, so we're going to increase one for the side of the turn and one because we are the balance of the forces to the dark. Okay. Let's go ahead and get to the refresh phase. Take off one focus token from this ba backstabber, and because of this Endor Gambit, it is a vehicle. We'll be able to take. They'll be able to take the second one off. He'll be able to strike again this turn. <coughs> He's also going to collect one, two, three, four, five focus tokens to add to the three that he already has. Two. Four, five. Let's we'll take a look at his draw phase. He has one, two, three, four. So he's going to draw two more. Up you know, to his reserve of six. We'll shuffle these up. Okay, we've shuffled them up. So let's go ahead and get into this uh, draw phase. A TIE Fighter. A 
target of opportunity. He's going to attack. He gets to deal one damage. Twist of Fate to cancel the card effects. Stormtrooper Elite. And the Super Laser Blast. That will clear out his resource pool. So we're done there. These two will join his Fate deck, uh, which we'll shuffle before any edge battles. These two are going to join his play area. Separated by blast damage, it looks like our TIE Fighter is going to go up the attacking pool, and our Stormtrooper Elite is going to be in our defending pool. And we have this event here, which is destroy a target objective. Let's see which target objective we're going to destroy. Okay, it says right here, if the AI is required to select a player objective, he will select the objective with the most damage. So with his blaster, he is going to uh, he's going to destroy this. But actually, before that, I had less cards, less units than him. I should have drawn out to my reserve. I have a Wookiee Defender. He's going to gain a, a combat damage when shielded. Brings me to three. I need three more. Central computer. I can enhance my play area. When you would draw a card, draw from the bottom of the deck instead of the top. Get one more resource. And Wookie Rage. During an engagement, sacrifice a participating Wookiee unit to deal X damage divided among participating enemy units. X is the remaining damage capacity of the sacrificed units. And one more card. Tactical retreat, return any number of units you control to their owner's hand. Okay. Now he's using his super laser blast to destroy a target objective. Undercover dealings had the most damage, so he will destroy that one. Damage and everything back. This event and we'll go into the discard. So that was the, the draw deployment phase, so let's get into the conflict phase. He has two units that will be attacking. Okay. I don't have any units able to defend because Chewbacca is um, focused. Just taking a look here. I don't think I have anything that's going to help me with defense. So he's going to get to attack. He's going to have one, one, two, sorry, one, two, three damage to our against all odds. Three damage right here. I'm going to place that there. Okay. These have been focused to strike, so we're going to add some focus tokens. Two for the backstabber, one for the TIE fighter. And he will head on back. Uh, he's now onto the balance of the force. He's going to commit one character to the force. These stormtrooper elites have two focus tokens, so they will be dedicated to the force. And now he's sitting here with three, which means the balance of the force stays with the dark side as I have zero. Okay. So we're over here. We're going to check the balance. We just checked it. We know that I get no benefit from the force. So now we're going to refresh. We're going to remove these focus tokens. We're going to add our new objective. Uh, 
Honor Among Thieves. After an opponent plays an event card, remove one focus token from this objective. Okay. That was our refresh phase, our draw phase. We're sitting at our six value. I don't think I'm going to discard anything. So let's go ahead and take a look at our deployment. I think I'm going to try to pull out one, two, three, four. I'll spend one to get this uh, central computer. Okay. Pay one focus token to do that. And then we're going to take four focus tokens. Or four, we're going to pay four recess resources. One, two, three, four. To pull out dash. Okay. <coughs> So now we're going to talk about attacking. We don't have many force icons. So I don't know if we'll win any edge battles. And the Stormtrooper Elite's going to do three damage. One of those damage can be negated by him. So I'm not too sure if, uh, if attacking is going to be a good idea. I'll lose Chewbacca. Um, so maybe we just wait and maybe defend against their attack next turn. Maybe I focus them and get the, the balance of the force on my side with five. So yeah, I'm going to commit Dash, both Dash and Chewbacca to the force. Not attacking, but just trying to gain control of this, uh, of the force. I don't want to get that get out of control. So now I'm going to be coming at him with five, and he has three. Okay, so now we can check the balance of the force. I have five, he has three, which means the balance of the force is going to turn to the, the light side. Okay, with the no attacking, we are going to go ahead and uh, start up the Imperial Navy. We just checked the balance. We're on the light side, so that means this time the Death Star will only increase by one. There you go. Let's get to our refresh phase. We're going to take one off of each and an extra one because of the Endor Gambit. And he's going to gain one, two, three, four, five. So we've got three there, four. Of five resources. He's got one card to draw, so let's get that back up to the reserve. One, two, three, four, five, six. And let's shuffle those up. Okay, we've got those shuffled up. Let's go ahead and start with our draw phase. Talon roll. Trooper assault. This is an event. Each attacking trooper gains a combat and a I'm sorry, a unit and a blast damage until the end of the engagement. Which will take effect this turn. Duty officer. Going to give him an extra resource. Enhance his play area. And tether support, discarded non-limited engage enhancement from play. And he's got one card left. Human repl replicant droid, which he can't afford. So that's going to go back on the top. Okay, so let's go ahead and start by adding this duty officer. No blast damage, so he's going to be considered a defender. This talent roll is going to go over here, um, which he'll be able to, I'm sorry, he'll be able to remove from a fighter unit an extra focus. Okay. That leaves us with two events. We've got tear the ship apart. Sorry, hold on. One, two, three, four. And he's supposed to have one, two, three, four, five. Okay, sorry, I put an extra focus token up there. So he's going to, with this tear the ship apart, 
target non-limited enhancement from play. This is a limited. So the other, other enhancement in here is the uh, Chewbacca's, uh, what was this called, the holdout blaster. So that holdout blaster is going to be discarded. I can remove a focus a token from this objective because uh, because they played an event card. Okay, this terrible shipment part will get discarded, and then the last thing he has to deal with is this trooper assault. Each attacking trooper gains that. Not he's not going to have any attacking troopers here, so actually he's going to hold on to this event right here. And we're going to put these in our play area so that we know to play them in, in a bit's time. Okay, so that was the draw deployment phase, so now we're going to do the conflict. He's going to commit everything he has to to the uh, to the battle. Okay. So the question is, am I going to do any defending? I could maybe do this tactical retreat and pull Chewbacca back into my hand, possibly. Don't know if I want to do that. I could sacrifice um, Chewbacca in order to destroy both his backstabber and his TIE fighter. Oh no, he's only got two left, so he won't kill them both. Wookiee Defender's not going to do me any good, and then my Shadow Operative's not going to do any good. So, if I commit Dash to it, he's going to take some damage, but he should be able to take out the TIE Fighter and focus the Backstabber to make him not be able to attack next turn. So we're going to put Dash in there. Because he's going to attack with one, two. He's going to hurt him for two. Yeah, let's let's commit that. Uh, but then we won't have him committed to the force. And we want to keep that force to put that damage on there. So I guess we're going to let that attack go through. And he's going to put one, two, three damage on our against all odds, which is going to finish it off. Okay, well, he'll do one, two on this one. And then we'll put one on the... Uh, And we'll do our, uh, one damage to our debt of honor. Okay, so my against all odds objective has been destroyed. And uh, they've been focused to attack. Now we'll end the attack phase. Okay, so now he's on to his force phase. He's got one more force he can uh, add to the force. He's got two that are the same. He's going to put it on this vehicle because of that Endor Gambit. He's going to be able to remove uh, uh, the, with the Tantum Roll and the Endor Gambit. It's most beneficial to him to place it on this TIE Fighter. Okay. He now has one, two, three, four, and I have, and I have five committed to the Force, so the balance of the Force will stay with me. Okay. So we're here, we just talked about the balance of the force. We know that the balance of the force is with the light side. So we're going to add a damage to an objective. Let's go ahead and add that, add that to... Uh, let's go ahead and add that to the Endor Gambit. Okay. So one more, we'll destroy that. And then these uh, ships will start puttering out a little bit more. Which will be very, very nice. Okay. So now we're onto the refresh phase, so we're going to go ahead and remove our focus tokens. We're going to add our new objective. We've got those renegade reinforcements. After the first renegade squadron unit you control is focused to strike, it gains a 
uh, uh, I can't remember what comic that's that's called. That's like some sort of uh, it adds focus tokens until the end of the strike. Tactics. That's tactics. I had to look that up. Sorry, guys. Okay. All right. So that ends our refresh phrase. Let's check our draw. We've got four cards, so we're going to draw two. And let's not forget our central computer. Interrupt when you would draw a card. Draw the from the bottom of the deck instead. So you're going to draw two cards. Okay, first card I drew. The Kashyyyk Resistance Hideout. Enhancing play area. If you control fewer units than each opponent, focus the enhancement to place two shields on a target unit you control, even if that unit is already shielded. Ooh, nice. I really like that one. And we got a special discount. Sacrifice a unit to reduce the cost of the next card you play this phase by the sacrifice card's printed cost. Okay. So that was our draw. So let's go ahead and think about playing. I think I really want to get out this Kashyyyk hideout for two. I am also going to get out this Wookiee Defender for two more. And that leaves me with one. I want to keep this. Uh, I don't want to use this resource because I want to. Um, I want to add a focus this enhancement to defend. Make sure that my guys don't get hurt. So that all that leaves me with. Uh, so one, two, three, four. Hmm, anything I can play here? Sacrifice a Wookie to do that much damage. Maybe. Turn units to my hand, no. Or do I want to pull out the shadow operative? Yeah, let's do it. Let's pull out that shadow operative with our last focus. Okay, so that was my, my deployment phase. So now we're gonna look into uh, we're gonna look into getting an attack in. I've got two focus here, maybe another focus there. So I'm coming at three. We can try it. Let's go with our uh, our Wookiee Defender, our Shadow Operative, and Chewbacca are going to go in for the battle. One, two, three, four. No, I can't put Chewbacca in because I need Force. I need him with the Force. Okay, so we're going to attack with these two, hoping to get some blast damage through, which means he will defend with these two. Okay, if I control fewer units, he's got four, I've got four, so that's not going to do anything for me. Maybe, maybe I don't pull out that, maybe I don't pull out that, uh, ah, I don't know. This Kashyyyk is going to let me... I don't have fewer units. So let's go back. Let's take this Shadow Operative back into my hand because I want to be able to trigger those fewer unit things. So Chewbacca, if I control fewer units, each... Um, if I get two friendly units, place one shield on each of those units. So I'm going to do that. And I'm going to place it on the Wookiee Defender and I'm going to place it on Chewbacca. Okay? Um, and then I can enhance my play area, okay? Um, get two shields on a target you control. So I'm going to enhance him. And I'm going to put two more shields on my Wookiee Defender. So he's going to survive here. I'm, I should hopefully get a blast damage there. Let's see what happens. So now we're going to get to our fate, our edge battle, excuse me. I'm going to go ahead and play this sh my Shadow Operative. I'm going to try a different tactic. We're going to see if he actually adds stuff to it. He's going to add... Oh, let's double check. Sorry, hold on. He's got one, two, three, four, five, six. He doesn't need to add anything, but let's shuffle it because we added a couple fake cards. Okay, we shuffled it. We're going to add our first fake card. I've got to make a decision here. 
Um, I'm debating if I'm going to play the special discount. How badly do I? How badly do I want to hurt a unit? I'd like to because this is very daunting here. But I've got the shielding. I'd also like to be able to take a resource away from him. It's pretty big. Let's try it. So we're going to place our special discount there. He's going to draw another one. I'm going to pass. So here we go. Anything? Anything but a. We've got the same amount. So I think it's anything but a one. He's gonna add. My bad, it's he has the same number, so it's a one or a two. A one or a two and he'll pass. No pass, so he's gonna add another one in there. The question is do I wanna keep battling with him? My tactical retreat and my my Wookiee. I guess I'll do my tactical retreat. We have the same. A one or a two. Nope, he's gonna add another one. I'm gonna pass. He's got one more, so it's a one, two, or three. And now he's gonna pass. So let's go and reveal. My guess, my prediction he's gonna have a twist of fate in here and it'll just do it all over again. Okay, so he's got the deal one damage to target participating enemy unit. So he's gonna deal one damage to my Wookiee Defender. And he's gonna have one, two, three, four, five, and I've got one, two, three, four. So he's going to win the edge battle, which does nothing but let him go first and uh, and takes away that damage that I wanted to do with my Wookiee Defender. But at least I'll be finishing an objective and being one-third of the way. I'm discarding those cards to their respective decks. So let's go ahead and go through this, focusing the strike stuff. Oh, he also has... Oh, I didn't account for this. I don't think my Wookiee Defender is going to survive it. Um, each attacking trooper unit gains a blast and a, uh, a blast and a combat at the end of the engagement. So there's a keyword here that says attacking. They're defending. But they're still going to be focused on strike. So I don't... I actually don't think this applies to it because it says attacking and they're not attacking so let's let's go with the wording so they're going to do three damage i've got three shields one two three he's been focused to strike now it's my turn i get to do one blast damage which is going to be enough to destroy the ender gambit which is couldn't come soon enough because i really need want to stop having him be able to refresh those a lot. So we've got our first objective, first of three objectives that we want to get done. Okay. And that means the Wookiee's been focused on strike. He can't focus the strike, so he's just going to go ahead and uh, go back to the defending pool. Okay. We have con done our conflict. Our Wookiee... Um, Oh, he gl uh, he gains the he did gain the blast damage, so he should have killed because he was shielded. So he is going to kill this duty officer. All right, which means next time I should get a free attack here because his uh, his stormtrooper should still be um, exhausted. All right, so we've done our finished our conflict phase. So now we're going to check the force. I've got five showing to the force. He has four showing to the force. So the force is going to stay the light side okay now the balance of the force is on the light side so we're gonna get to the refresh he's down one objective so let's pull a new objective objective for him the ultimate power your opponent cannot declare more than two attackers against this objective <coughs> okay so now he has three objectives let's finish our refreshing Remove some focus tokens. He's also going to use this Talon roll, which is to remove one focus token from a Tugger fighter unit. The backstabber is a fighter unit, so he is going to remove that token. Discard that event. He's going to have one, two, three, four, five resources in his resource pool. So let's gather those up. 
five along with his one is six. He's gonna he has two, he's gonna drop to his reserve of six, three, four, five, six. Let's go ahead and shuffle those up. Okay, we got those shuffled up, but, but before we continue, I forgot to move this dial one for the start of the turn. It was uh, I checked the 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 balance of the force, but I forgot to add another one of these. So there you go. He's at six now. He's halfway to his objective. I've got one of three, so I'm a third of the way. <clears throat> All right, let's start pulling some cards and see what he gets. Target of opportunity. If you're an attacking player, deal one damage to the engaged obje objective. He's got an ATST commander. He's an officer character. During an engagement, spend one resource to place one shield on a participating vehicle unit. It's going to cost him two resources to get that guy out. Admiral Mata, reaction after you refresh, remove one focus token from a target unit you control. And he's going to give two. Wow, <clears throat> that's really nice. He costs three. Okay, next one, last one maybe. Yep, can't, can't afford the control room, so that's going to go back down there. So this target of opportunity is going to join this fate deck. And we've got these two guys to join in. So Admiral Mati is going to be in the um, going to be in the attackers, and the ATSD commander is going to be in the defenders. Okay. So we've got our deployments and draws all done. So now we're going to get into the conflict phase. He's going to send all three of these guys. <clears throat> he controls one, two, three, four, five units. Okay. Which I can't, I, I can't focus, uh, Let me check how often I can take these actions. Hold on a second. Okay, so this uh, this action thing lets me... I can do whatever. There's a lot of action windows open. I don't have to focus it. I don't have to do anything. It just counts as an action. Okay? So it seems I can use that more than one time. It seems very powerful. Well, however, this one here, Chewbacca's, does say limit once per turn. But this is now the Imperial Navy's turn. So I should be able to do that action again make myself very powerful here in, in order to defend myself. So um, in order to to activate this Kashyyyk resistance hideout, I have to have fewer units than each opponent. I can uh, focus this enhancement. Oh no, focus it. So I, I do have to do it. Okay, sorry. I appreciate that, guys. He does not have to. Um, he, because it doesn't say, it's just once per turn. It doesn't say focus him or anything like that. So I can do his action, which is I can uh, place one shield on each targeted. Two, few, two friendly units get um, shields, so I'm going to put one on Dash. I'm going to put another on Chewbacca. I'm going to try to defend. The, the reason why I'm doing all this is I'm going to try to defend here, and I'm going to try to... Uh, to take some guys out because what's going to happen? I, I'm no longer going to use them for the force for now because uh, he's going to, he's going to deactivate one of his ones and he's going to activate this Admiral Mati. So he's going to have at least three, four, five, six. So I'm no longer going to have balance of the force here at the end. So I might as well try to take some, to take some board out, right? So I'm defending. He's attacking. He has his attackers declared. Okay. Um, Okay, so um, we're going to get into this edge battle. But here's the shitty thing. I've only got one, uh, only got one, um, one fate. So he's going to get a lot of extra damage on me. One, two extra damage, and one, two, three, three blast damage on me. So it's going to be tough, but I've got some shielding, and I'll be able to attack back. Okay, so... Um, I'm not playing any edge, which means he doesn't have to play any edge, which means he's going to automatically win the edge battle. So then we're going to, uh, now we're going to re uh, resolve the targeted strikes. Okay, so he's going to uh, use his highest cost card first, 
which is going to be between the Admiral Mati and the Backstabber. But Tidebreaker is going to be Force, so he's going to do a blast damage. Okay, and he's going to blast damage our Debt of Honor. Okay, that means he's been focused focused to strike. Okay. Now it's my turn. I can attack back. I'm going to, um, I'm going to attack with Chewbacca, which means he's going to be focused to strike. He's going to take two focus because he is a uh, force. He's dedicated to the force, but he's going to do one blast damage. So he's going to kill this Tie Fighter. I think, or do we want to try to take out that backstabber? I don't know. Or do we want to try to take out Admiral Mati? Yeah, let's take out Admiral Monty. So he's gonna take one. He's gonna do one blast damage to him. Okay, and he's gonna do an objective damage. And let's go for. I can't declare more than two. I don't know which one to go for. Probably not this one because it's gonna be eight. This is six. Um, I guess we'll start with ultimate power. We'll do that one. Okay. All right. So now it's back to him. He's gonna do two damage. Uh, he's going to focus on the one with the highest cost value. So he's going to do one damage there, two damage. He's going to get through. So Dash now has uh, one damage on him, but the backstabber is now focused. Um, now he is going to uh, do one damage. I'm going to kill off Admiral Mati. Okay. So I am going to lose. I didn't think I was going to be able to take him out. I think I was going to try to take out something else. But I'll lose control of the force this round, but I should be able to get it back uh, relatively soon as long as I don't do anything with Dash or Chewbacca. Okay, so then he's been forced. He's been focused to strike. Oh, he, gets, he also gets to put a focus token on. Might as well put it on the backstabber. Then the, he is going to do another damage on Dash, and he's going to do another damage on our debt of honor okay and he's been focused to strike okay okay so everything's been focused to strike they're going to go back to their their respective areas lots of tokens out there now okay that's been his conflict force he still has three there's nobody with a higher amount of force icons that are not taken but this time I am uh, focused so I don't get to participate which means he's going to get the balance of the force okay. all right let's go ahead and check our smugglers phase we just knew that the balance of the force was in the dark side so we're not going to get any extra damage so let's go ahead and refresh so dash and Chewbacca are still um, focused. They're not going to be able to participate this turn. Okay. All right. So we refreshed. So now let's go ahead and draw. We've got one. And remember, due to our central computer, we drawn from the bottom of the deck. We draw five now. Okay. We got the Cloud City Casino, which is going to enhance our location, give me another resource. We've got a Cloud City Technician. After he enters your discard pile, draw one card. Cannon Fodder. We've got Sabak Shift. Play only on your turn. Your opponent shuffles his hand back to his deck and draws X cards. X is the number of cards he shuffled into his deck. So it just really clears it out. But two Force Icons, that's nice for any edge battles I might be, get, might be taking on. Directed Fire, when you choose when you would choose a unit to strike during an engagement, choose a target ready unit you control not participate in the engagement. Instead, that unit strikes as if it was participating. Oh, I like that. And target of opportunity, if I'm the attacking player, deal one damage to an engaged objective. All right, so um, let's get some deployment out there. Let's get our Cloud City Technician out there for two. All right, collecting all these resource tokens so I can just start spending stuff. So two for my Cloud City Technician. I'm going to spend one for the Cloud City Casino. 
Okay, and that gives, leaves me with one, two, three. I don't want to do that because I want to shield. I don't think there's anything else I want to play as of now. Okay, so that's my deployment. So now we're going to go into the um, we're going to go into the conflict phase. I'm going to attack with both my Cloud City Technician and my uh, Wookie Defender. Um, if I control fewer units, nope, I've got four. I shouldn't have pulled out that Cloud City Technician because now they're not going to survive. But oh well. I did what I did. I'm going to live with it. Okay, uh, he's going to come out here with all declared defenders. So he's not going to die anyways. He's just going to focus here. He's only got one defender there, which is nice. Okay. Should be a good attack for me here. All right, so I'm going to definitely play my target of opportunity. He's going to play one. Oh, hold on. Let's double check. We'll probably have to add cards because yeah, we're at three. He needs to have six, three, four five six let's shuffle this up okay we've got these shuffled so let's go ahead and add one so we have the same amount in the edge battle well for now let's see if I want to play anything um, I really want to get that other blast four feels feels really good and I don't see a huge benefit of shuffling cards yet I mean Unless he has something in there. I don't know what he has in there. I haven't seen enough. So we'll play it. He's got one less. We're going to roll the dice. Anything but a one, he'll add. So he's going to add another one. Excuse my reach. We're now even. I'm going to pass. We're even. So now a one or a two, he'll pass. Nope. So he's going to add another one. Okay. He now has one more. So a one, two, or three, he's going to pass. That's a one. So he's going to pass. So let's go ahead and flip this over. Let's see what happens. No twist of fates. Oh, thank God. Wait, he still won that damn edge battle with five. One, two, three, four, five. But first things first, we got to deal with our lowest number here first. Uh, I'm the attacking player, so I'm going to add one damage to the target objective. I was going to continue targeting the ultimate power. I don't have more than two attackers, so I can do that. There's another damage on the ultimate power. His is if you are the attacking, he's not the attacking one, so he doesn't get to deal any damage. Now he won the uh, he won the uh, the edge battle though, so let's go ahead and discard and clear this out since we don't have anything else to worry about with that. Just discarding our cards. Uh, so he is going to. Oh, that sucks. He's going to focus my Wookiee Defender, okay, because he's the same cost, but he has a higher uh, force icon, which means he's not going to be able to strike, and or he's not going to be able to do any blast damage. Uh, he, and then he, that means he's focused to strike there. He is allowed to strike. He is going to do one damage here and kill that guy. Um, take him off the board, but because I didn't do the edge battle, I'm not going to get any blast damage. So I went from like getting possibly three to only getting one, which definitely sucks. Okay. Mm. Okay, so that was my conflict phase, force phase. I don't have anybody uh, committed to the force who wouldn't make any difference, so uh, he is going to jump up to this next one. Let's check his balance. He has the force. So he's going to move up two. He's at eight. Two more turns like this and that'll be the end of it. Now he's going to refresh. He's going to take one of the student trooper elite, one of the tie fighter, one of the backstabber. He no longer has any of those fancy uh, ways to remove more focus tokens so I'm in a really good spot so unless he pulls out new things he's not going to attack he will pull out new things I'm sure he will um, okay so let's refresh he's going to get one two three four five resources added to his one three four five let's check here he's got three cards so we got to draw three one two three let's go ahead and shuffle those up Okay, shuffle them, so now let's draw them. He's got an ATST. 
After he just enters plays, draw one card, so he's going to add a card. That costs three. You've enjoyed Replicate. After you win an edge battle, put this unit fr into play from your hand as a participating unit on your side. So it doesn't really do anything for him, but... And that's it. So he's got three. So we're going to rethink this blast damage situation here. We have a total of one, two, three, four, five units. Five divided by two is two and a half. So three units are going to be attacking. So let's try to figure out which three... One blast damage, one blast damage, one blast damage, one blast damage. They're all one blast damage, so let's go by price. Three, three, three. So these three are going to be the attackers. He's going to be defender. So both of these are going to be able to attack this turn. I've got no defenders. He's going to really do some, he's going to do some blast damage on my objective. He's going to get rid of that debt of honor for sure. Enter play, so he draws another card. We're going to add a card here to his hand. Okay, and that's everything there. So now he's going to get into his conflict phase. He's able to uh, add these two to the conflict phase. Okay, am I going to defend with anybody? No, I don't have anyone to defend with. They're all exhausted. So he's going to get one, two, three blast damage. Two will finish out the debt of honor. One will go on to the honor among thieves. Out of honor, now on the discard. Okay. Both were focused to strike. Both go back over here to his pools. Now we're onto the force phase. He does have now uh, a couple singles. Okay. He is going to free up. Uh, let's check which one he's going to free up. Okay, so none, none of these units have a force ability or anything like that, so it's just going to be cost and, and the number of force tokens. So uh, he has the higher cost the, and the less amount, so he's going to remove off of the backstabber and onto the ATST. So now he's going to be coming with one, two, three, four, five each time, um, which means I'm going to have to commit one more, otherwise it's going to stay on the dark side. Um, but for this this force check right now, it is going to stay on the dark side. All right, here we are back to the smugglers and spies phase. Checking the balance, balance is in the dark side, so no extra bonus. So let's get to our refresh. Remove these focus tokens. Everybody's available to us. We're down an objective, so let's go ahead and pull a new one. Questionable contacts. Out to your fresh damage one. Sorry, damage this objective to move one damage from a target friendly unit to an enemy unit. Absolutely. That's gonna happen right now. So let's do it. We're in the refresh phase. So definitely going to damage this unit to move a damage from dash to who do we want to get rid of? Do we want to get rid of somebody? Let's put one of these elite stormtroopers because I would like to take those guys out. They've been a, kind of a thorn since they've came in to the game. All right, so that's the end of the refresh phrase. I got two cards, so we're going to draw four. Pope. I really forgot, due to our computer, we're going to be drawn from the bottom of the deck. All right, let's see what we got. Hold in all the cards, draw two cards. Another shadow operative. Another fringer captain. And Mirax Tarek. Reduce the cost of the first event card you play by one. Okay, so that was our draw. Let's see. I don't want to put any more units out. So I don't think I'm going to play anything. Maybe I'll play this uh, draw two cards. Okay. And again, I'm going to draw from the bottom of the deck. Okay, let's see what we got. Uh-oh. Ah, uh, Lady Luck. 
Lando's ship. After this unit is focused to strike, reveal the top three cards of your deck, discard one of those cards, place one on the bottom of your deck, and place one into your hand. And another Cloud City Casino. Okay. So I think that's it. I don't think I'm going to play any more units because I want to defend. I'll use these to win some edge battles here. Hopefully make a difference. So I'm going to attack with these two. Okay. Gonna plant. Oh, I do need to... Ah, if I take one of these guys out, then I'll be in, in the lead for the force. So yeah, let's do it. Let's attack with these two. So no, oh, Tie Fighter can't defend, but the storm trooper, the elite stormtroopers can. Okay. Um, I am going to focus. I have fewer units. I can focus as an enhancement to place two shields on a target on my control. Hold on, before I do that, I think I've got to do Chewbacca first, because his, the Kashyyyk says that it's something that's already shielded, so let's do him. I can uh, target the two friendly units, place one shield on each targeted unit. So we're going to shield both our Cloud City Technician and our Wookiee Defender. And you know what, I should have cleared this Wookiee Defender, not Dash, because Dash wasn't going to fight. So we're going to clear that Wookiee Defender and put that on the, the one that went to the, uh, sorry, the storm, Elite Stormtroopers. Now I'm going to focus my resistance hideout, and I can put two shields on a target I control. I can put two shields on to this Wookiee. Okay. So he's all shielded up. Yes. Yep. Okay, so now we're going to be into the, the the edge battle. Okay, I am going to play. I have no fates or anything like that. So let's say let's say I play Lady Luck. All right, let's. We want to win this one. Get some extra blast damage down, right? Okay, let's check his deck. He's got three. Let's draw up to his reserve of six, three, four. Five, six. Let's go ahead and shuffle these up. Okay, here's our nude fate deck. Let's go ahead and draw the first one. It's my turn again. I'm going to play Mirror Attacks. Tarek, excuse me, Mirror Tarek. So I'm sitting at five. He's got one fewer, so he's going to roll the dice anything but a one. To five, so he's going to add another one. I'm going to pass this time. So we're the same, so anything but a one or a two. He's going to add another one. He's got, I'm going to pass again. He's got one more, so now it's a one, two, or three. So he's going to pass. Let's go ahead and flip these over. Okay. No twist of fate. His only his uh, fate card is if he was the attacking player, so it takes no effect. But man, look at all this fate. Oh, one, th these four icons. Six, seven, eight to my five. I cannot win an edge battle. Even when I feel like I go heavy on it, I can't. So that means the Stormtrooper Elite is going to attack first. Let's go ahead and discard his events. Stormtrooper Elite is going to do three damage. He's going to do damage to the thing he can do damage to, which is going to be the Cloud City Technician, because he won't be able to get through the shielding. So he's going to do one damage there, two to get this one. He is done and dead. Okay, but when he goes into my discard, I can draw a card. I drew. Up. I keep drawing off the top. Well, we know the top's crossfire. I've never seen the card though, so I don't know what it's going to do. But draw from the bottom of the deck. One last trick, when a unit control leaves play, place one focus token on target unit with equal or lower printed cost. Okay, so I can focus uh, somebody. Okay, uh, he has been focused to strike. So now it's my Wookiee's turn. He's going to do a blast damage to 
ultimate power. He's go he gets a blast damage when he's shielded, so he's going to do a damage on the Stormtrooper Elite, which is going to take them out. But I won't get to do this one because I did not win the edge. So I was able to take out Stormtrooper Elite at least. Okay. Yep. My Wookiee Defender has been focused to strike. And now he comes back. Excellent. That was our conflict phase. We're now into the force phase. We've got three, four, five. He has one, two, three. So the force is going to rotate to the light side. Okay, let's check that balance of the force. The balance of the force is with the light side. So our Death Star will only advance one. Refresh. Here we go. He's going to remove some force tokens. He's going to gain one, two, three, four, five. We've got four. Take one more. Five. Let's check his draw count. One, two, three, four, five. He needs the sixth one. So next time I have to draw, I'll be shuffling his command deck back in. That's one of the alternate rules for the solo mode is the AI won't lose if his command deck is empty. So let's go ahead and shuffle these cards up. Okay, let's go ahead and do our draw phase now. Tie attack squadron. It's going to be three. And the control room. He's out of resources, so that's all he's going to do. So let's go ahead and move this control room over here to enhance our play area. He's going to get two more resources now. And our Thai squad, tag squadron is going to join our player area. He's got, he's got two blast damage, so he's definitely going to be an attacker. Okay, there's one, one, two, three, four, five. So there should be three attackers. Highest cost and highest focus will move up. It's going to be these two. And the droid replicant is now going to be a defender. So he's got a new attacking defending pool. Oop, sorry. Made a mess of everything. Okay. That's completed his draw phase because he has no more uh, resources. And, and deployment is now done. So we're going to get to that conflict phase. He's going to bring an ATST and the TIE Squadron. Okay. Question is, are we going to do any defending? Let's see what the TIE Attack Squadron does. During an engagement in which you have placed at least one Fate card in your edge deck, this unit gains a combat and targeted strike. Okay, so I had to check what targeted strike is. This is going to be very scary. Um, targeted strike, he's allowed to target any unit, whether they're engaged or not. So um, there's a high likelihood that I'm going to lose Dash here this turn. Um, all right. Um, I'll be able to use Chewbacca's uh, action to shield because it's once per turn. So I'm... I'm I'm playing loosely with the uh, the the t definition of term turn. I feel like there's a smuggler's turn and then there is an imperial turn. So technically, I would feel that he would get to do that action twice: once at while attacking if he was, and once while defending. He's not focused, so I don't know if that makes any difference. If he was focused, would he not be able to do it? I'm not too sure. That's something I have to look more into. But for this playthrough, I'm going to say each turn, there's the Smuggler's turn, there's the Imperial Navy's turn. So I'm going to use that action to place shield on two friendly units. Hopefully this keeps Dash alive one more turn because I really need him for that force. Uh, keep that force. It's, I, I don't have a lot of blast damage capabilities, so it's really hard to put that, that damage on... Uh, 
on those fleets. So for, it's odd to think that the smugglers and spies need to be force sensitive and force focused, but um, I think it's going to be my only way to try to get this second and third one done before we're at nine, three turns, 10, 11, 12, as long as I hold on to it. Okay. So he's going to be attacking undefended, which means he's going to do a crap ton of damage. Oh, oh. yes. Okay. So uh, he's going to be doing one, two, three, four blast damage. Okay. Um, and he can he can hurt anybody. So uh, with his extra uh oh it's gonna do two it's not even gonna be it's because it's he gains one and target strike so it's gonna be two so dash is gonna be taken out oh damn that's tough that tie that tie attack squadron is really rough all right so um since that's the case I might as well engage and just try to take something out here because if Dash is going to die anyways, let's try to win this fade battle. I'm not going to, am I? Ugh, this is going to be an all or nothing thing here for the uh, one last trick. No, that doesn't do anything. Wookie Ferocity during the, okay. Maybe I sacrifice Chewbacca. Okay. During an engagement, sacrifice a participating Wookiee to deal X damage divided among participating enemy units. X is the remaining capacity of the sacrifice unit. So we're going to sacrifice Chewbacca. He's got, he has two units left. That's enough to kill this TIE attack squadron. So we're going to take that squadron out. Chewbacca has been sacrificed. That means I have less on the force. Okay. Okay, so now it's dash and uh, this ATST. Oh, I need to play one focus token. Um, maybe I don't commit dash. Maybe I just committed Chewbacca and sacrificed them. Yeah. So I, was, I committed just Chewbacca. I uh, did my Wookiee Rage. Chewbacca took out the Thai attack squadron. Now just the ATST is going to get through, which is going to be one. Uh, um, I did have him come out as a defender, so one, two. Uh, let's see, it's undefended now, so let's say two blast damage uh, on to our honor among thieves. That was kind of messy. I'm not sure if I played that right. It feels a little confusing, but we're going to go with it. So the ATST is. Then focus the strike. He's got his two blast damage, and now he's done. We check the force. He's got one, two, three. I've got three. It's going to stay on our side. Oh, no, he's going to add one first. Boo. So the ba uh, same cost, same force. So player choice. I'm going to uh, make him focus that. So now he's got the lead here. And we're going to rotate that. We're going to rotate the force to the dark side. Wow, we were so close. Almost made it. Okay. So we know the balance of the forces with the dark side. We're not going to get any bonuses. So now we're going to refresh. Remove those focus tokens. Remove the shields. Okay. We've got one, two, three, four, five cards. So we're going to draw from the bottom one. It's Lando. If you or your opponent each have one or more cards in hand, each chooses one card from hand, reveal the card simultaneously, and the player that revealed more printed force icons may, be, may remove a force token from a card he controls. Discard both the revealed cards. Okay. All right, so now I'm pretty low on units. So are there any units I want to try to get out? Yeah, I guess I'll try to get Lando out. So that's going to cost me four. One, 
two, three, four. I can place a damage on this to remove one from dash, and we will add it to this TIE Fighter, which will remove the TIE Fighter. Okay. Okay, so we played Lando out. That was four. We've got one, two. Let's get this other Cloud City Casino out. So I'll put a focus token on my central computer. So now I'm back at one, two of album. I don't want to do him. I want to be able to defend. Say one possibly for that one. If I pull, oh, no, I can't do it now because I, uh, so I might as well. Bring out my Fringer Captain for two more. Oh, two, three. Again, that leaves me one for this just in case. If I attack, if I attack with these two, leave these guys back at five, I should get control of the force again. Okay. All right, so that means I'm going to attack with with these two, and I'm going to focus my Kashyyyk uh, to place two shields on a targeted unit. I'm going to put two shields on my Wookiee. Okay, he's going to defend with this this human replicant droid. Okay. So now we're going to be into this fate battle. I will play. Doesn't matter. I'll play my. I'll play one card. My shadow operative. Okay. He has one, two, three. I have to shuffle this first. Add three. Okay. Okay. I shuffled. I added. Shuffled. Added three and shuffled. So we're going to draw one fate card here. We're equal, so now we're going to roll the C. On a one or a two, he passes. Nope, he's going to add another one. He's got one more, so one, two, or three, he'll pass. Nope, he'll add another one. And now he has two more than me. So, let's reveal. There's my one. Twist of Fate, cancel this edge battle, and do it again. Okay. He's going to go in the discard. He's got three. He's going to have one less in his reserve. And we're going to shuffle those up. Do I want to play any of these? No, I like both of them too much. So we're going to pass. And he's going to uh, play a card. Okay. He's got one more. I pass. He rolls a three with one more. And that's a pass. So we both consecutively passed. He's got an uh, Imperial Officer. He's going to win the edge battle. All right, so he is going to do one damage to the Fringer Captain because he can actually get through. And he's going to do one blast damage to our Honor Among Thieves objective. That means he's been focused to strike. So now it's my turn. I'm going to do my Wookiee, who's going to get a blast damage. On to ultimate power, and my Fringer is going to do a damage on his human repli replicant droid and destroy him. Both have now been targeted to strike. Okay, and that Wookiee actually would have been able to kill him because he would have gotten an extra thing. So maybe I don't I don't strike my Fringer captain. I just leave him be. Okay. So he's looking at one, two, three. I've got three with dash, so maybe I put my Fringer Captain to the force this turn and not Lando, just in case. Just in case I need to do something with him on defense. Okay, so my Fringer Captain adds to the force, one, two, three, four, to his one, two, three, and that is gonna make the force with the light side. Okay, we know the balance is with the light side, so we're only going to add one to our Death Star. Two more turns, at the very least. 
Let's go ahead and refresh. He's going to remove one focus token from each one of those. He's going to now pull in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven resources. There's two. Seven resources. He has one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's go ahead and shuffle these cards up. Okay, let's go ahead and draw these cards. Death from above, target two attacking vehicle units. Those gain blast damage until the end of the engagement. Death Star Trooper. TIE Fighter. Uh, Talon Roll. We're moving to focus. Control Room. And ah, orbital orbital bombardment doesn't have enough though for it. So we almost got them all out. A lot of a lot of low cost. We got one, two actions that he's gonna add over here that we'll be watching for. He's got another enhanced play area. We're running out of space here. Okay, and then he's gonna have two units come into play. Um, we'll keep them as is. Okay, and he had four left over. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five. He had two left over. Okay, very good. That was his draw, that was his deployment. So now he's going to get his, to his conflict. His ATSC cannot attack, but he's going to come out here with his, uh, his backstabber. And I am going to come out there with nothing. Do two damage. Yeah, let's send Lando out to defend. Because I'll have one, two, three, four on the force. I'll have one, two, three. He's going to add only one more, which means it's going to stay where it belongs with the light side. All right, so Lando's going to come out and defend this this backstabber. Okay, so fate. I have no fate cards to play. Um, so it's going to go unopposed. He's going to play one. He's got one more. We'll roll. He passes. Let's see what he got. Oh, I didn't do this whole. He had one, two, three, four. Yeah, do it again. Five, six. Let's shuffle these up. Okay, let's draw our one. We're going to keep with our roll because it was a really nice roll. I want to keep it just to keep things moving along. And it was his Death Star Troop. So we're going to discard that. He is going to target to strike first. Um, he's going to do two damage to Lando. And he's going to do a blast damage to Honor Among Thieves. Uh, and he's going to have played a vehicle unit. He's going to get an extra blast damage, which is going to go to the Renegade Reinforcements. He did play uh, an event card, so I can remove one focus token um, from this objective. That doesn't really help me at all, because this objective is going to die. Okay. So they took out another objective of mine. Okay. Uh, this action goes away. Two damage to Lando. Two blast damage. Now Lando's going to be able to focus the strike. He's going to do one damage. And he's going to put a focus token on the backstabber. Okay. So that should be the end of him for this game. Returns. Both of them return to their their side okay now we're going to check the, uh, the his force he's got these two committed he's going to commit one more same price same uh, focus so let's go ahead and do this tie fighter okay so he's got one two three four 
I have one, two, three, four. So it's a, it's a draw, so it's going to stay on the light side. Okay. Here we are now. It's the light side's turn. We check the balance. It is on the light side. So we're going to add the damage. We're going to add it to the ultimate power. And that makes five damage, which means now we have completed the destruction of our second objective. Okay, we have just one more objective left to destroy. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into the refresh. Let me clear off all shields and focus tokens again. We're going to have to make a mad dash to try to get some damage on our last objective. We're going to have to go for this one that's got six. And I'm going to have about maybe two turns to get it done. I have to keep the balance of the force in order to get a second turn. Okay. So uh, looking at what we have, we're definitely going to have to attack with our friend or captain. We're going to have to attack with our Wookiee defender. Those have blast damage. We're going to hope to see if we can get any extra blast damage. Okay. So, um, we've done our refresh. Oh, we have to pull a third objective. Excuse me. Our new objective. Fortune and Fate. It's Cloud City. Two points of resources. Okay. So, we've gone ahead and refreshed. So, let's go ahead and draw. We've got two. So we're going to be drawn from the, the bottom of the deck four more cards. All right, let's see what we got to add to our hand. We got our Renegade Squadron Operative. That's going to pair nicely with our Renegade Squadron reinforcements. So they're going to gain the tactics. Also got Corporal Danzar Breezer, Beezer. After this unit is focused to strike, the unit gains one combat icon that other participating unit has until the end of the phase. Well, we're going to try to get her out there and get a lot of blast damage going, yes? The Ehrlich Sabic Addict. After this use an, use an enter play, name a card your opponent must reveal his hand and discard all copies of that card from hand. And our Gambler's Trick. If you control a participating unique smuggler and spy unit, Cancel the card effects of all enemy fake cards, the priority four or higher during the edge battle. Okay. So I think we're just going to try to get these two out. We've already got we've already got four units and they've got three, so I don't think there's any shielding that's going to be happening. We're also going to take advantage of our questionable contracts, which we should have done just a little bit ago after the refresh phase. We're going to put a damage here on this one in order to remove a damage. Let's say we remove it from Lando. Mm, no, let's say we move it from Dash. And we're going to damage. There's almost no sense in damaging the backstabber. He shouldn't be able to attack here. The ATST, we're not going to be able to attack enough to do anything, so let's go ahead and damage, kill off one of these guys. Let's kill off this TIE Fighter. Okay. Very good. Um, now let's play. We're going to play these two units out. So it's going to be a total of five resources we're going to need. One. Two, three, four, five. We still have one, two, three, four. Do we want? Do we need to play any of these others? I don't think so. When you need to control these play, place one focus token on a target unit. When you would choose a unit to strike during an engagement, choose a target ready unit not participating in the engagement. Instead, this unit strikes as if it was per participating. Okay, just trick. No. Okay, so that's all we're gonna play from hand. So now we're gonna attack. We have to attack with our corporal. We're gonna attack with our 
wiki defender and we're going to attack with our fringer captain these we're going to leave for we're going to focus lando so that we have five and we keep control of of the uh and there's no blast damage really possible these are where we're going to get if we win this edge battle of one two three four that will make it very possible. If we don't win it, we're going to have one, maybe two points. Okay? We no longer have the ability to use Chewbacca's shielding, which is going to hurt. But he's not going to be able to kill anybody. He's only going to be able to defend with this one Death Star Trooper. Okay? So we're into our combat phase. So let's go ahead and start with our edge battle. Um, I'll play this one. My... Uh, Gambler's trick. Hopefully protect me from any twist of fate cards. Let's see how many cards he has in his fate deck. One, two, three, four, five. He's gonna add one. And then we're gonna shuffle these up. Okay, we shuffled these up. Let's go ahead and draw one card for the edge battle. Um, I guess I'll play this one just in case. I don't think I'm gonna play him as a as anything. We'll play it just in case. Um, okay. So he has one less, so anything but a one. He got a four. So he's gonna draw. I'm gonna pass. Which means we have the same, so anything a one or a two. Three, nope, he's gonna draw another one. Now he's got one more. So he's gonna do a one, two, or three. Nope. He's gonna add another one. Now he's got two more, so that's the end of it. So let's go ahead and flip this over. Well, he definitely won. So let's go ahead and discard. It's it's like a, a foregone conclusion that I'm going to lose every edge battle, but it's okay. I think we're going to side because he's only going to be able. He's going to focus this guy to strike. He's going to do one damage to my highest costed cost uh, unit and uh, damage her. But after this is focused, so let's focus her to strike. And after she's focused to strike, she can gain one combat icon that another participating unit has until the end of that phase. She's going to end another blast unit. So she's going to have one, two units of damage. We're going to put those two units of damage here on take them prisoner. Okay. Now it's time for my Wookiee to strike. He is going to strike, focus the strike, and he's going to do one more blast damage. Okay, so that's three. Now, do I want to focus him to strike to destroy this trooper? Not really. I'm going to keep him so I can keep that that um, force edge, I think, without having to commit Lando. Um, although I should probably take him out because I don't want to lose any I have to do the exact same amount of damage next turn in order to win this on the second to last turn so let's do it because he's looking at only three I have three so it's gonna stay so we'll force him kill this Death Star Trooper okay uh, successful outing from you guys. Oh, you know what? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. We didn't get that shielding because we didn't have Chewbacca and we didn't have fewer, fewer units. Okay, so that's the end of our conflict phase. We check the force. I've got one, two, three committed to the force. Do I commit Lando? Yeah, let's do it. Let's commit Lando. So we got five now committed to the force because our Frederick captain is exhausted. He won't be able to attack again. And they have one, two, three. So the force is going to stay on the light side. Okay, we check the balance. We know that the force is on the light side. So we're going to move this dial up by one. Okay, we're at 11. One more increase and the game shall end. So let's go ahead and get to the refresh. Gonna remove a focus token from each unit. He's gonna play his talent roll, which is gonna remove one focus from a target fighter unit. It's gonna be the backstabber. He is going to uh, draw out a new objective. His new objective is Quat 
reinforcements. When you play a vehicle unit, discard X cards from your hand to reduce its cost to by X. Okay. Now he's going to collect resources. Two, four, five, six, seven, eight. He's going to draw eight resources. Four. Eight. Okay. Now let's check our draw deck. We have one left. We're going to draw five. One, two, three, four, five. We're going to shuffle these five up. Okay, we shuffle these up. Let's go ahead and do this draw phase. Stormtrooper elites. Gonna make it hard to get through and get any blast surviving units to d deliver blast damages next turn. An ATST. Tear the ship apart. We're gonna discard an enhancement. Target of opportunity. If you're the attacking player, do one damage. Aft armor plating. Enhance a vehicle unit. Enhance unit gets shielding. And orbital bombardment. But nope, can't because he only has three. All right. So um, enhance a. Unit, it's usually the highest cost with the most force tokens, so he's going to enhance this ATST. So now that unit was declared as an attacker defender, he's going to be able to place a shield on somebody. Okay. This target of opportunity is going to go into our fate deck. Tear the ship apart. Discard a target non limited enforcement from play. So let's see. Um, enhancements. We've got uh, one, two, three, four. Limited, limited, limited. So this Kashyyyk is going to be the only one that we can discard from play. So he's going to go ahead and discard that one. But it did its job. It defended me in times of need. Okay, so now we're going to have these two join us. The Stormtrooper Elite, of course, are going to be on the defensive. Uh, squad, they have no blast damage, so now it's a decision here. Um, we've got one blast damage, one, I'm oh, sorry. We've got one blast damage, one blast damage, and one blast damage. Um, let's, it entered play, so let's draw that card. Okay. Um, so highest cost with most force tokens will be our tiebreaker. So the, bla the backstabber will now go to defense. The ATST will now go to offense. So he's going to attack me pretty hard with these two. Okay. So that was his draw deployment. So now he's going to get into his conflict. He's going to declare these two attackers. We're running out of space here, guys. Look at the board. It's crazy, right? Okay, he's going to declare these two attackers. I have one that I could defend with, but without any shielding and without a guarantee of winning, without a guarantee of winning any edge batters, battles, I don't think it's going to be very beneficial to me. So he would attack then with one, two, three blast damage. All right, let's let it happen. We're going to just let him go unopposed here. So there's going to be, he's focused to strike, he's focused to strike, he gets shielding, so he's going to shield uh, because of his upgrade, so that's going to be, like I said, one, two, three blast damage onto our Renegade Reinforcements. Okay, so these two are going to go back. He is going to commit a unit to the force. He's going to commit the highest one. Tie regulars, player's choice. Let's just have him commit the stormtroopers. Doesn't really matter, I think, at this point. So he's sitting at one, two, three, four, five. I have one, two, three, four, five. So the balance of the force is going to stay on the light side. 
We just checked the balance. We know it's on the light side, so we know that we're going to get an extra damage. We're going to put that at damage on our take them prisoner. Okay. We're now going to refresh by removing all focus tokens and shields. No shields this time, but focus tokens. One from each. It's not all. That's misleading. One from each. Now we're going to... Oh, forgot to remove that guy. Now we're going to draw. We've got two cards. So we're going to draw four. Well, talk about timing. We just ran out of the command deck, so we took this game to the limit. All right, we had two. Let's see what the four we drew were. Crossfire, after a character is focused to strike, it gains one combat icon of your choice until the end of the strike. That's huge. It could be a big deal. Cloud City Technician, after this unit enters a play, or enters your discard pile, draw a card. Target of Opportunity, if you're the attacking player, deal one damage to the engaged objective. And Han Solo. Last card of the game, I get Han Solo. Man, what a cool dude. All right, so we've got our hand of six. I am going to... I'm going to save Han for uh, for edge battle. So that's going to give me a five. Right, five for sure. We'll save this one to spend just in case we need to focus something. Let's pay two and get our Cloud City Technician out. One, two. And we'll pay these if we need to. So we're going to attack with our Wookiee Defender. Cloud City Technician, Capital Danza, Danzra, um, and that would give us one, two blast damage. We're at four. We only need two to get through. She can get that extra one. I could do. I'm going to do an extra damage of target opportunity, hopefully, um, and then I can also. Yeah, that's it. That's what we're going to do. Okay. He has his Stormtrooper Elite to defend, which is going to be three damage. That's going to suck. So here it, we, we're, it, it might come down to this last edge battle because if he takes out, if he attacks, he's going to he's going to destroy her, which means I'm only going to have one damage go through, two damage. Oh, I could get it. it it's going to be really close. All right, no twist of fate, right? Okay, so I'm attacking. I'm going to play Han Solo. Uh, my, uh, that's my first fate card. Let's count up what he has. One, one, two, three. So he's going to draw three. One, two, three. And we're going to shuffle these up. He's going to draw one card now that we've shuffled. I'm going to play my target of opportunity to get, try to get that damage done. He's down by one, so anything but a one. All right, anything but a one. He's going to draw and put another one. I think that's the only two that I'm going to play. So we're saying, so one or a two, and he'll pass. And there it is, a one. So let's go and twist. No twist of fate. Okay, no twist of fate. He had two, and I had five. Yes! Yes, we finally won the edge battle. Han Solo leading the fight. All right, so target of opportunity. This is the only fate card we have to resolve. If you're the attacking player, deal one damage to the engaged objective. That's going to be number five on Take Them Prisoner. Now we'll go ahead and remove these fake cards. Okay, discarding these fake cards. Sorry, I wanted to organize my area a little bit. Okay, so she is going to, we'll focus her strike first. She is going to do one damage and on the Stormtrooper, and she's going to do two damage on our Take the Prisoner. Only needed one, and there it is. A victory for the smugglers and spies. Man, what a game. We did definitely take that one to the limit. Filled up our board. Exhausted both decks. All in the name of a light side victory. Thanks for watching.